Hallelujah. Somebody lift up your worship. Lift up your worship. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You're the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You're the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You're the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You're the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Lift up your worship. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You're the mighty man of war. your voice which is cut at the sound of your name you're the mighty man in battle you are Jehovah you're the mighty man of war you are Jehovah you are Jehovah you Oh, somebody in the comfort of your home, I hope you are praying. The session of prayer is not a session to while away time, but it's a section to really pray. The Bible says, For we don't know how to pray, but the Spirit is making intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Somebody let your spirit make intercession on your behalf. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. 
Romans chapter 8 verse 15, the NLT translation says, so you have not received a spirit that makes you fear few slaves. Instead, you have received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba Father. Somebody are going to open your mouth and tell you to go Father because I know you are my father. Therefore, I have all things in my possession. Because I know my father is rich in glory. Therefore, I am not poor. Oh, I know my inheritance in my father. Good health is in that inheritance. Therefore, I, I decree that I have good health. The Bible says, if earthly father, as evil as they are, know how to give gifts to their children, how much more will heavenly father give things to you when you ask of him? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You carry me when some carry dear God. You feed me, Lord, when some feed dear God. Oh. You fought for me. When some fight for their God, Jesus, you know they use me play. Oh, na 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 na. You know they use me play. Oh, na 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 na. You know they use me play. Oh. You carry me when some carry dear God. You feed me, Lord, when some feed dear God. Oh. You fought for me when some fight for dear God. Yeah, Jesus. You know they use me play oh. na 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 You know they use me play oh. na 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 You know they use me play oh. na 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 You know they use me play oh. Life giver, life changer, Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. destiny helper, mountain mover, Mountain mover, Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Hey, covenant keeping God. That is who you are, Jehovah. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant 
singing a na 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 na. You know they use me play oh na 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 na. You know they use me play oh na 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 na. Come on, sing it na na. You know they use me play na 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 na. You know they use me play oh. Na 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 na, Jesus, you know they use me play. Come on, lift up those beautiful hands towards heaven. I proclaim, you are the one. Back in me, oh. I proclaim you are the one making things happen, showing me mercy. You are the one. You are the one It's your grace Whatever that may come my way is your grace Whatever that I may have today is your grace I proclaim You are the one backing me up I proclaim You are the one making things up Showing me mercy, you are the one. Father, we give you all the glory. There's no God like you. You're reliable in all your ways. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God up by yourself. In this teaching, I'd like to show us some few things, and um, I would like us to just pick one thing or the other because. I have people in the studio with me that I'm talking to and um, it becomes the extension. You have become the extension of our church. I believe God will let me just talk to you from my heart this morning. It's going to be a two-part teaching. It's going to be long. Anyway, I stop today. On Wednesday, I continue from there. Please open your Bibles quickly to Proverbs 18, verse 14. I read the TPT translation to you, Proverbs 18, verse 14. You can please invite your friends and family, you can share the, the link, the broadcast, so that someone can also have a great time with us. Proverbs 18, 14 says, Okay, let me read it from. <laughs> verse 12. Please be attentive. Proverbs 18, verse 12. It says, A man's heart is the proudest when his downfall 
is nearest. <laughs> when you see any man that wants to perish, the first attribute you see in him is pride. See, the day you know you are intelligent, you are beginning to fall. The day they give responsibility to someone in church and you feel like why should they give to the person whilst you are there? Your destruction is nearest. See, God can use anything. Jesus was going to Jerusalem and people were bringing out their clothes, spreading them on the ground, spreading palm fronts. And people were shouting like they should stop the people from hailing him. You know, we live in a society now where we think honor is idolatry. We don't honor is he not a man of God? Not an ordinary person. Why? Why are they worshiping him? Honor is not worship. Honor is of God. Honor is a spiritual mystery for prosperity. You see it that says children Honor your father. Honor your father. Father in Hebrew and Greek means source. Honor your source. If you go back to 11, I'm reading TPT translation, verse 11, he said, the rich in their conceit, they imagine that their wealth is enough to protect them. Some other people, they feel their wisdom is enough to give them headway. Have you seen the scripture that says, the gift of a man blinds him? <laughs> Intelligent people or those who know their intelligence, they don't want to submit to anybody. See, when I'm talking, I'm, I'm intelligent. I've got the spirit of God of wisdom. I'm wise. I'm speaking faith. I'm not talking pride. There's a thin line between confession and pride. The Bible says God resists proud look. Not that you are proud, though, but your look is proud. Do you know that if some people are privileged to be the governor of our state, only God knows what, what you will do. What do you think is the idea of when Jesus is saying that if your right hand is given, your left hand should not know? He's doing it so that you can replace, you can remove self from the equation so that you will not come to a position whereby you can say, I am here because of what I've done. That's pride. He says, it becomes their confidence in a day of trouble. So, they think money can become a confidence. A pastor was sharing how a particular man was very wealthy, a billionaire. And he was attacked with a spirit of infirmity. He had a sickness. And said the man was saying, is there, anywhere, is there no way they can take me to? 
Is there nowhere? They've taken him everywhere. And PB said, money was ashamed. You'll come to a position in your life that everything you think you know is a dust. Money will be ashamed. Intelligence will be ashamed. We are the president in this country that died. President Umari Musa Yaradua. If money could bring him back, if medical facilities could sort him out, and verse 12 now says, a man's heart is the proudest when his downfall is near. I hope you are not on the path of destruction. You talk to everybody anyhow. You feel you are something. You think you deserve something. See, you deserve nothing. You deserve nothing. There is nothing a man has that he has not received. He said, for he won't see glory until the Lord sees humility. He will not see glory until the Lord sees humility. The reason you are still broke despite your wisdom is because you have not learned to put God first. You will never see glory until God sees humility. Some people are too bossy. Doesn't it look like a curse? He says, A man's heart is the proudest when his downfall is nearest. He said, For glory will be far from him until God sees humility. And understand something humility is not, not dressing well, just having this appearance, holy sanctimonium kind of thing. You know, just sanctimonium purity, just go straight on. No. Humility, according to God's word, is to be word compliant. To be word compliant. If the word can give me, I don't need it. See, if people are pushing you, <laughs> be careful to know where they are pushing you to. Some people have been pushed to their grave. You know the problem of prodigal son? You know prodigal and proud sounds alike? Before you can be prodigal, you must believe you deserve something. Every spirit of rebellion is tied to pride. What day to treat me that way? Who are you? <laughs> I want you to come at these kids. <laughs> and a particular boy was beating another person. No, a, 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 you know, I think a soldier was harassing someone. And there's this man that just came in Agbada like a, civ a civilian and he said, stop beating that boy. I will deal with you. Did you know who I am in this area? Leave him, let him go. So the military man was scared because he doesn't know his identity. And he dressed quite well. And he said, do you know who I am? <laughs> so that boy escaped. It's because somebody had a stronger voice. The military man just paused at the time and said, excuse me, who are you? He said, do you know who are? Excuse me, sir. Tell me who you are in this neighborhood. Only for him to find out that he's one bloody civilian by the side. Hiya! The military man pursued him. He beat silly out of his life. Those who say who I am are nothing. 
The people that are something don't shout everywhere. Who are you? Who are do you know who I am? Even Jesus was at the presence of a demonic spirit. And the demonic spirit they say, We know who you are. Jesus said, Keep quiet. You can imagine Jesus said, Tell them. Say, We know who you are. Say, Tell them. You see some pastors conducting deliverance service. Some people do, oh, 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 We know you. We know you. You are a prophet. You say, Talk. Give him a microphone. You need validation from demons. Jesus said, Get out from him. Jesus will heal people. Say, Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Once the things you want are the things to show off, then you're on the path of destruction. Keep it somewhere. A man's heart is the proudest when his downfall is nearest. If that's the only thing you pick from this teaching today, a man's fall is the nearest. When his heart is the proudest. And guess what? He didn't say when his look is proudest too. His heart. Some people look humble. But in their hearts, they are very proud. Ah, good what is that? They prostrate. Ah, yeah. In their heart as they prostrate, this small boy himself. The heart is on a way to destruction. I would say, let it stand. Take heed. Let it fall. Do you know why Lucifer was sent out of heaven? Pride. He didn't say, I want to be more than God. He said, I want to be like God. You see a lot of people in organization before you know it, they begin to rub so shoulder with their bosses at work. You can do what bosses do. Is it not master's boss has? I have PhD. A man's heart is the proudest when his fall is the nearest. And let me tell you something. There is nothing a proud man gather that will not crash. It's not a cost. Look at the next verse. That, even that same verse. He said, for you won't see glory until the Lord sees humility. So what does he see? You can be gathering wealth and it's not glory. You will not see glory. And the only thing that sustains is glory. He said, listen before you speak. Please don't let me go beyond this. Let me just stay on this verse. And I trust God so that I'll be able to part this. So the next teaching, I'll be able to talk about another thing. He says, God resists You know, I like the word resists. He doesn't just resist it in. He will continue to resist his work. He resists. He resisted him yesterday. He will resist him again today. He will resist him tomorrow. He will resist him forever. See? Not even your seed can bribe God. He resists the proud. The humble does not ask for grace, but he gives grace to the humble. There are things we don't pray for. Grace is not one of the things we pray for. Father, give me grace. You attract it. You can become a magnet unto grace. By the kind of heart you have. What do you want from what you are doing? Do you know that there are people for instance, I'm a pastor, so I can use church to give an example. There are people who are doing things in church just because of what they want to get. So when the expectation is not met, they become another person. We all have all kinds of expectations. Some people's expectation is to be given microphones so that they can talk. If they don't give them microphone, that church is not good. The pastor is not nice. You mean, 
he's the only preacher there. He mean he didn't even give me microphone to preach. Look at the people he's using. I'm better than them. Congratulations. Scholar, son of Gamalia. No wonder he chose the foolish things of this world to put to shame those who think they are wise. And Bible said the wisdom of the world is foolishness to God. I want to indulge somebody under the sound of my voice. Will you take a cloak of humility? Will you come to the position of humility? Will you humble yourself? So that God will exalt you? What else ta -ta 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 you are doing? You will destroy yourself. Is that all you come to tell me, Pastor, this Sunday morning? You don't have a better message? I'm sorry I don't have a better message. But if only you know that the reason your head has not been able to be lifted is because of this one thing, pride. Everybody tells you, but you don't believe them. Nobody can correct you. You know everything. They tell you, they say, no, no, no. They don't understand me. Ah, ah. How, how should they understand you again? You are always right. See, I'm not abusing you. But the Bible says it is fools that is always trying to prove a point. God wants you to be an ego. That overlook things. You save everything underneath you. See, humble people. One of the sign of an humble person is that they they it's, it's a picture of they don't lift up their head. You know, you know we've been around for a while. You know we've been doing this. You know, see, 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 see. But we say you don't know as you ought to know. You don't know anything. What you think you know that is not working for you? <laughs> oh God. You don't know as you ought. <laughs> you can be teaching business though. There is difference between theoretical victors and practical victors. There are people who make millions every day who doesn't know how to teach. What they are even doing. You think this is English? You think it's quotable quotes? <laughs> the king of Babylon had a dream. He went to call the intelligent people. They couldn't help him. They wouldn't call people like Daniel. You know, what did he know? Is it not just prayer and the Bible? And they destroyed themselves. Bible recorded none of them had interpretation. And Daniel said, just give me some time. So you have an anointing from the Holy One. And you know all things. You don't need any man to teach you. But this anointing that you have, it will lead you into all truth. See, I don't want to be judged by how intelligent I look. But I want to be judged how favored I had become. How anointed I had become. Finally, brethren, tonight or this morning, understand that the race is not to the swift, the battle is not to the strong. He says, victory does not belong to a man of strength. It's a time and chance. I put to them all. God said the last will be the first. Say the first will be the last. May you not leave your space in the front and be replaced by someone at the back in the name of Jesus. As you go, understand this. Replacement is done every day by God. The day your heart is exalted, 
like the heart of Lucifer, you lose your place with God. I decree and I declare. I don't know who is this who this message is for. But as you leave this place today, may your heart be right with God in Jesus' name. Lift up your hand wherever you are. Join me on Wednesday. I take it to another level in the name of Jesus Christ. So just lift up your hand. Family, are you getting blessed? So we just take the offering right away so that we can get ready for the second session. Thank you, Jesus. If you're giving your offerings, you can just look at the screen because the detail will be included on the screen. But shall in case you're listening on the internet radio, the account number is, is as does follows. You know, it's a Stalin bank account, it's telling bank account. The zero zero fifty one. 20 95 41 0051 20 95 41 that will bless you as you give 00 51 20 95 41 the account name is the glorious liberty church god bless you as you give in the name of Jesus. Come on, can you give Jesus a dance offering this morning as you cast your seed? Hallelujah. Hey. Come on, give Jesus a dance. Hey. Favor, favor. Blessing, blessing. It's my portion. It's your portion. I'm bigger and better, stronger and stronger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say favor, favor. Blessing, blessing. It's my portion. It's your portion. I'm bigger and better, stronger and stronger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say favor, favor. Blessing, blessing, it's my portion, it's your portion, I'm bigger and better, stronger and stronger, hallelujah, hallelujah, hey, God they do and people they see a more, God they do and people they see a more. I say God they do and people they see a more God they do and people they see a more Yeah 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 God they do and people Yeah 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 listen it was my bread oh it sugar my tea it changed my life give my life of me Hey, it was my bread, oh, sugar my tea, oh, change my life, hey, yeah, 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 oh, hey, God, they do and people they see a more, God, they do and people they see a more, God, they do and people they see a more, God, they do and people they see a more. God, they do and people they see a more. I say, God, they do want people to see a more. God, they do want people to see a more. Hey, God, they do want people to see a more. God, they do want people to see a more. Hallelujah.